Hey, hey, watch your mouths, I'm Mike. That's right, we'll take you firsthand through what it's like being a hockey referee, one of the toughest jobs in sports. Hold on, hey, boy, boy, both sticks. Both of you whack each other, that's it. Stay still, stay, stay right there. Back up. We hooked up local referee Michael Frost with a GoPro camera for the sights. And American Hockey League referee Gino Binda with a microphone for the sounds. Hey, 37, go! 37, go! Yes! No way, you're coming, buddy. 37! Can't do that, man. Guys, we're try to stay out of the way, let you guys play hockey. All I'm asking for is stay off the goalie. Alright, watch the head contact, watch anything from behind. Just have a good game. The passion runs in the family for both men. My father was referee, my brother was referee, so it was just a normal progression. My old man, my father, been refing for forever, and I was 11 years old when I started. Hockey referees have physical and mental stamina unlike any other. While players constantly shift, the referees are always out there. Whew. Up and down, I Finding little areas to, you know, during the face-offs and stuff to take a quick breather and but you know, we're moving, we're stopping, we're moving, we're stopping. You know, it's, you know, it requires pretty good endurance, but um, you, know, you do have the times where you're outside the zone and you're looking in and you get that time to watch the play. So, you know, you take a breather then and then you move on. Keeping up with the play, keeping your body in shape, uh, putting the right things in your body, you know, and uh, just, you know, you're not gonna see everything out there, and you try to, and uh, you just do your best, and you go on your instincts mostly. Yeah, they do have a lot of stamina, and uh, it's part of it is being smart. So if one referee helps the other referee out, they could take turns doing the skating up and down the ice. There's teamwork among the on-ice officials. Communication is most important. I like guys that, that talk through the game, like, uh, hey, 30 seconds on the penalty, or heads up guys coming out of the box, or, you know, hey, watch the guys behind the play or stuff like that. I like, I like a lot of communications and uh, I think it goes a long way as a referee too. Sometimes if you miss something, uh, you go and ask for help. Nothing on the goalie. It went through him. All right, interference or anything? Communication with the players also keeps them safe. Hey, 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 come. Oh. Ian, I'm right behind you. Heads up. I'm here. Go in front of me. There are plenty of stories with referees getting hurt. It's a contact sport, and we're in the line of fire. And, you know, whether it be a, a referee that has knocked teeth knocked out earlier in the season up in, you know, at a game up north that I, that I was doing, or I took a puck in the eye. Al Sterling over at St. A's Arena one day. He, he was refing at St. A's, and uh, he looked up the ice. Right as he looked back, he took a puck in the face and went down. The blood pooled around him. All the while, the officials have to stay focused on enforcing the rules of the game. A white minus trip. A white with trip. During your last PK, he's talking about too many men. Late line change. The guy was down there. O'Neill comes out late. Just, just clean him up. That's all. That's all that was. Okay. Referees are often the villains and scapegoats, but they do their best to explain everything to the players. Hey, I understand he whacked him. It was a loose puck. You can't grab him by the head and drag him now like that. I, I, I didn't do that on purpose. Andrew, watch that pinch there. That's almost interference. If you guys are not shot-handed, I might call that interference here. All right, just be careful. I want him to be fair and consistent. I want him to not call too many things that are trivial and put the game in his own hands. I don't want them to have too much of an impact of the outcome of the game. Well done, boys. Nice job, thank you. What's the rhythm for you? Well, I mean, it, it does come like clockwork. I mean, it's, you know, a lot of us have been roughing for a long time. The, the, the number one the thing you need to know is the rules. Once you know the rules, you know, and know how to apply them, everything else is easy. I mean, skating, keeping up with the play. Um, you know, you don't want to have to be skating at a high speed or, 
um, trying to make decisions on the fly and not know what you're calling. Thanks, guys. Focus on everything. Uh, you're making decisions every every second. You're making non-calls. You're making making calls. And you got to move your feet. You got to get in position. You got to get good sight lines. And these referees couldn't imagine doing anything else. You can't make a million dollars doing this. You've got to do it for the love of the game. Mark, thank you for everything. We'll see you. Right. Thank you.